Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. And again, that time frame that we're looking at as far as very strong, potentially damaging wind, even though it's windy right now, is from 11 o'clock tonight till about 4 or 5 o'clock tomorrow morning. In the meantime, as far as rain, it's pretty light. In fact, it's just scattered either light showers or a little bit of mist. So fortunately, we don't have any downpours for the trick-or-treaters right now next couple of hours. <laughs> it's incredibly warm. Now, we talked about this last night, how this is going to be a spring-like weather system. It's in the upper 60s to low 70s right now. The breeze kicking up. A lot of humidity, so some fog near the ocean. That's Newport right now. So for the early evening hours, uh, rain-wise, we're doing okay, but it's very windy and warm with a few light rain showers initially, and then things really start to ramp up later on this evening and during the overnight. Rain, strong wind, thunder between roughly 11 o'clock until about 5 o'clock in the morning. Weekend is chilly, but it's dry. In fact, we start to see some sunshine as early as tomorrow, and that sun should spill over into the weekend as well. So as far as potential impacts, well, the strong wind gusts, that's certainly a, a high risk, um, high confidence forecast there. And we're going to put the power outage risk at least in the moderate category for the overnight hours. So not a bad idea to make sure the tablets, the laptops, the cell phones are all charged up before you go to bed just in case we have outages overnight. And I think we will. Some tree limbs and power lines and things like that. Scattered thunderstorms, not now. Now, but the chance is somewhat uh, slight uh, later on tonight after midnight. And because some of the heavier rain for later tonight will be coming through so quickly, it doesn't really stay over one area for a long time. So the net result is that we don't have really much in the way of street flooding or urban flooding. Let me show you the wind gust forecast this evening and through the overnight. Starting off this evening, where right now we're roughly between 35 and 40 miles per hour. Now the areas of red and purple indicate some of the stronger winds starting to ramp up. This is 11 o'clock in the evening. We're somewhere between roughly 40 and about 50 mile per hour gusts. And then after midnight, it rarely starts to kick in. This is around 1, 2 o'clock in the morning. Block Island close to 60. We're getting gusts between roughly 45 and 55 miles per hour. Uh, this is 3, 4 o'clock in the morning. All this red and purple represents potential for some damaging wind. And then the core of that wind by about 5 o'clock in the morning is pushing offshore. Now, Friday is a very windy day, just not quite as windy as that time period that we just went through. Temperatures, wow, upper 60s to lower 70s, including 70 in Providence. So the trick-or-treaters, they're out right now. I mean, you got little smatterings of sprinkles and some light rain showers. So, the, you know, the costumes are not getting soaked. So good news there. But clearly the, the real heavy rain, you see the solid line of rain and thunder with a very strong cold front right in here. And that'll track through during the overnight hours. This front is separating spring on one side of the front. Look at the temperatures up and down the eastern seaboard and a winter chill out west. Now we don't get this cold uh, this weekend, but it will be much, much cooler. Watch that front approach. The timing on that is around midnight, 1, 2 o'clock in the morning. The wind is howling at that time. Watch how rapidly the front is offshore. Skies are clearing out. So we, back, we get back to some sunshine on Friday, though a windy and cooler day. Let me show you the forecast in more detail one more time. Now watch the time bar, and I want to show you this squall line, this red line right here. 2 o'clock in the morning, it's in eastern Connecticut, and then by 4 o'clock in the morning, it's passing through New Bedford. It's this thin red line. doesn't look like much. That's where some of the damaging wind may occur late at night uh, while we're sleeping. And then the whole thing is offshore. Here comes the sun for the rest of the day. Windy and cool as temperatures settle back into the, the 50s. All right, seven-day forecast. Your weekend looking good, though much, much cooler. Your nights are cold. And your daytime highs Saturday and Sunday with sunshine cool with highs between roughly 50 and 55. So Showery, windy, and warm right now, but really ramping up later tonight and pre-dawn tomorrow. Sounds good. Thanks, Tony. Now